Well, I love you, but I love when you come in here with the kind of food that you've brought oh, today. Oh, you're excited oh, about this I'm one, very aren't you? Excited. So you've seen them all over TikTok. It's the butterboard. It's blowing up. I, I said to the audience about it. They're like, yes, butterboards. But spreading butter on a board and then dipping your bread into it, I feel like we can elevate it. We can do better than that. We've got Chef Randy Feltis in the house. So, are you up for the challenge, Chef? I'm definitely up for the challenge, but I don't want to slam the butter board. I'm actually a big fan of the butter board. Yes. But I feel like it's something, if you're just taking butter and you're putting it on a board, yeah. it's something I need to do in my own personal space in my house. <laughs> right. It's not like I want to walk into a party with a big board of butter and be like, hey guys, ah. gang in, get in there. Because I eat butter sandwiches all the time. Yeah. But not in front of people. Not really. No, it's when you're baking the you're bread You're at in the home back. by yourself yeah. and you're leaning against the corner and yeah. you're scrolling Instagram and yeah. you're putting on toast after toast with butter, like right? Like that thick. Like so much butter. Totally. It's a good moment in life, but maybe it's not for entertaining. It's a personal moment. It's yeah. not an entertaining moment. But so we came I up agree. with something that's a little bit more entertaining. We are using okay. hazelnut spread yes. and peanut butter. Oh, because large yeah. amounts of sugar really appeal to me at the end of a meal. Me too. Right? I am right with you there. So let's get started with this, Trace. I got a okay, board so for you too. It. And we can kind of be like Picasso with this. Hmm. And so what we want to do is something a little bit prettier. We're going to do a two tone. So you can either yeah. start with Let's start with the peanut butter, shall we? <gasps> okay. I've got you like professional tools. You have an offset spatula. Yeah. That's what pastry chefs use. And you can use that if you have one at home or just use a plain spoon if you really, really want. Okay, well, I'm so looking now, at you to see how you do your Picasso. So we're going to go one. Well, just a little schmear. A little schmear. And then about the same width as that first schmear, you're going to give a little space and a second. A little schmear. And a third. This is fun. It's like art class. Oh, look at you. Those are nice. Oh, I might have gone a little bit ham on that one. Oh, well. Oh, no, you're good. Because then all we do is a bigger schmear the next time around. So now okay. we're going to go with the hazelnut spread, which, mm -hmm. oh, my God. I mean, I don't know if you have kids at home, but you might want to buy a new jar because it's probably board. empty. Okay. And we're just going to go in between again like that. And then, Trace, you're just going to keep going. Okay. You know, at home, I actually buy my own hazelnut spread because I will just eat it with a spoon from the jar. I'm going to be double dipping, kids, so you don't want to go into my right. hazelnut spread. Well, that is the other you thing we I'm didn't saying? discuss is the dipping of the boards, yeah. right? Yeah. You want to have that beautiful. conversation before you put this board out with all your kids about double dipping. Yes. Because there's nothing more embarrassing than you're standing there and your 11 year old's in there and then you're <laughs> looking at them. I know you're looking at them, you're like, oh, don't do it, man. Don't do don't it. Don't do it. So have that conversation. How are you making out over there? Uh, very well. You're doing really, really well. Like, I'm well. impressed. Mine are very big smudges. Well, I went with a smaller yours. spoon, and so that's just a bit of a design thing that you can do. Okay. Right? Or you could just have this done all ahead of time. Oh, like that's that. gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? It's kind of like a little chessboard there. Very nice. So now it's garnish time. Okay. Because, I mean, like, this is pretty, but we can make it a little bit prettier. So okay. do you want to grab a little bit of strawberries there? Yeah. And just kind of, like, push them down. I mean, we oh, could use... Oh, I was just going to do, like a, like, a little, like, that. Yeah, like, we could use tweezers, but I feel like this is more of a rustic kind of feel, and we're just going to kind of drop them down like this. Yeah. And we're going to get two things here. We're going to get color, and we're going to get a little bit of flavor, right? So now, Tracy. I can never, I can't do this stuff without eating. <laughs> You're nibbling. That's why I can't be a server at a restaurant. I'd be like, here you go. Here's your Coke. That's why. That's why. Like, that's not allowed. That's You're why fired. they have closed kitchens. <laughs> <laughs> and we got some sliced banana we're going to put down because, you know, bananas and hazelnut and peanut butter, that doesn't work, does it? I mean, no, Elvis Presley would love this, this wouldn't he? beautiful. So now, I mean, like, oh, Jesus, now what? This is I feel like exciting. it's done. It's kind of done because those are the flavors you really need, but we got to intimidate the kids a little bit. Remember, we talked about that double dipping? Mm -hmm. You kind of got to smash that point home. So you got to remind them that their spoon's kicking around, even though we're not allowed to hit them anymore. We can kind of tell around. them what's in here. Did you tell oh, them what it was? There's some salted pretzels inside pretzels. of a little baggie here. And have... you're just going to like, like smack those about, kind of break them a little bit, right? Have that talk about double dipping again. This is the best part of I it. I gave you the bigger spoon, too, Tracy. Thank you. you. Like that, yeah. I'm enjoying Get it. Get all your frustrations out. And then what we're going to do is just kind of sprinkle those over top of that board and now we've got this <gasps> saltiness yes. and a little bit more texture in there like listen that. i'm very impressed with this i wasn't expecting this to look so good right it's this like, is amazing and it, i don't know about you but i like to cook when people come over yeah. i hate making dessert 
I oh, feel yeah. like it's just it's like a lot of thing. time, a lot of energy. Where this, you can kind of slap this together, and I guarantee people are going to dive in. Yeah. So what we've done on the side now, you could put more pretzels out, but I put the world's best apple out there. This is ambrosia, which is super crisp, super yeah. tart, and super sweet, everything you need. And then we've got some fresh baked bagels as well. So you can just go... And boom, in you go. And I, go for it. I think that that's kind of the purpose what we have to do here. So Absolutely. What is your weapon? Are you going fruit or are you going bread? I'm going to snack on fruit, but this has to be bread. I mean, this is why I love you. You always bring bread. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to dive into yours do. because it's properly. Yeah, Isn't that good? So look at this. You just like this. Take a little schmear. Oh. oh all right. Right? They're right? Very good. And like, you know what? You can hide my medication in there. <laughs> like I'm the family pet. I'm going to get to it eventually. <laughs> I shouldn't have taken such a big bite. <laughs> Randy. Mm-hmm. I have that thing where it's like stuck to the roof of my mouth now. <laughs> this was so good. Could we give it up for Randy for always bringing like the most inviting and elevated restaurant recipes to City Line? We love you. Thank you.